The temperatures are going to be rising all day today, but you're right. It's not going to last too long into the weekend. Once we get into tomorrow morning, the strong cold front comes through and it kind of ruins it for us. So to speak, our temperatures will be falling back into the 30s. Wind chills in the teens and 20s tomorrow. Go kind of summing up the weekend overall and those temperatures fall tomorrow and it looks like we're stuck in the 30s even for the rest of the weekend. We're at 34 degrees in Howell right now, 33 in Detroit, 32 in Ann Arbor. Temperatures about a handful of degrees, a little milder than yesterday. Look at our winds and this is going to be one of our headlines today. So winds will start to increase into the afternoon. 10 to 20, 25, but those gusts 30 to 35 as we get into the afternoon, especially the evening. I think some of the strongest winds from this next system will be from midnight into tomorrow morning when those gusts could certainly be 40 to 45 miles per hour, and then they'll start to trend downward during the late afternoon and evening tomorrow. 23 degrees is the wind chill temperature. That's what you need to know when you step out in Ann Arbor. Feels like 24 in Pontiac, feels like 25 in Detroit. Picking up, trying to pick up a few flurries on our radar up toward Port Sanilac near Pontiac through Oakland County. Not real successful, but I wouldn't be too surprised if we squeeze out a flurry or two. This system is the one that we'll be watching for tomorrow. So as it comes through, that's when our temperatures are going to drop. So when we look at our hour by hour forecast, again, our daytime high is going to be very late tonight. So our temperatures will rise throughout the day today. We get into the evening. We're into the 40s, upper 40s to near 50 by midnight. And then here comes the cold front. Scattered rain showers associated with the front simply because the temperatures are going to be warm. And notice how temperatures falling behind the front. This is five, six o'clock in the morning. So pretty early, we're starting to see the temperatures falling back to the west. We get into 730, 830 in the morning. So again, a lot of us starting to get up, get around. Our temperatures have already fallen into the 30s for many locations. And some of this rain could mix with a little wet snow on the tail end of it before it wraps up. It'll wrap up during the morning. The afternoon just looks gusty but dry with temperatures in the 30s. And then wind chills could be as chilly as a teens and 20s tomorrow. We'll stay in the 30s on Sunday and then 41 on Monday could see a bit of a mix by Tuesday.